Hey guys, this is Attaboy 4Z. Got another video. I just finished building my Ruger 1022. Uh, this started out as one of the, uh, I think Ruger went back to the uh, manufacturing, what they call their ultra cheap versions of the Ruger 1022. Um, they were pricing them at $199, I believe. One of my local uh, pawn shops had the uh, Ruger 1022s with the gray stock. And they had it on sale for $179. So what I did, as you can see, I have the Magpul X Hunter stock. Um, I went ahead and ordered the... Uh, cheek risers as well got those on Amazon uh, I think I paid a hundred and three dollars for the hunter stock I have all these spacers in there because I'm a pretty I have pretty long arms and then I have the tall spacer here also we have the crossfire to two by seven by 32 which is good enough scope to plank out to 200 yards with so I went to the range the other day and this thing just putting jagged holes in the paper you know it's 75 yards um, receiver is stock twin uh, 1022 receiver from Ruger I did order the kid heavy bull barrel this is the 18 inch uh, polished I went with the non-threaded. Um, I added the extended mag release from Vercortson. Also the auto boat release from Vercortson. So that helped a lot. Um, I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much it. It's a good shooter. I got the little mag pull uh, Picatinny rail on the bottom. I'm probably going to order a bipod for this too as well. I have a bipod on my, my Ruger Precision and 22 mag. Um, that way I can do some bench rest shooting. But I just wanted to share this little video of my latest build. It is a sweet little shooter. Um, one thing I did have to do. Uh, if you guys do order this Magpul Hunter stock. It comes with uh, two shims. Um, a smaller shim if you're going to keep your Ruger factory barrel and then a bigger shim if you're going to use your bull barrel which I did put the bigger shim it just sits in the in the inside this stock and what it does it prevents there was a little amount of wobble once you get the your your receiver you know bolted in here I got that bolt pretty tight but it's there was still a little wobble and then I just installed that shim and it's gone it still shot pretty well um, you can see there that extended mag release auto bolt release those are pretty easy I didn't do a video on the install because as you, a lot of you guys know you can't do install videos on YouTube anymore but it was pretty simple to get in there I think that my next thing I'll do, I'll probably upgrade the trigger. This trigger is not bad at all for a stock Ruger 10 uh, 22 trigger. I may go with a kid trigger or or uh, just re just buy the, you can buy the Volcorts and trigger on their website and just install that. So I'll probably do that sometime this week. As you can see, the little Picatinny rail. I'll have to move that off of there because the Magpul bipod that comes with it is uh, M-Lock. So I could either put it there or, or just take this one out and put that there. But yeah, that's my Ruger 1022 build. It's a nice, uh, sh nice shooter. It's got some heft to it because of that bull barrel. But kid does guarantee you I think they said half MOA at 50 yards. And at 50 yards, I was just shooting the same hole over and over and over, shooting the same hole. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. You know, any ideas to make this gun a better shooter? 
Thanks, guys. Have a good day.